Now then. As we move on, it turns out that Job Love... Wait, why can't I move on? Why can't I go to space? Wait, what? I'm confused. Why can't I go to space, game? Do I have to, like, A plus at all of these or something to get to space? Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Why, why, why can't I go to space? So, I can't go to space. Why is that? That was a C. That was a D. A, B. So why can't I go to space? I mean, obviously we'll have to look at this, won't we? Look, it's fine. Somebody has left this imaginary thing here that we want to just get loaded up. Nigel, we have been watching your performance. We require your services on a special mission. By inserting this disc, you have agreed to come and help us. And an agent will be along to pick you up immediately. Do not be alarmed. Well, that's great. I, I knew that this job interview would go well. So it turns out I have gone to space, which is unfortunate. Because it does appear that Bob, unfortunately, has also gone to space again. Now, Bob should never have gone to space again, okay? He went to space once in the past already, okay? And I told him, horrible idea. What happens if you get ill, Bob? I can't protect you in space. And he said, don't worry, doctor. I don't plan on getting ill. And I was like, you can't, you can't be serious. And he was like, yes, I am. So I made sure. Oh, don't, don't fly away. Don't, don't, don't. Don't fly away. I might need you. So I made sure that I, in fact, got everything set up, you see. So that he would be, in fact, absolutely fine. Now, to be fair, in this very scenario, Bob, I'll be honest, I don't know how much the mask is doing for you. The light is being attacked by a fan, but I don't see with the fan blades. What's happening, Bob? Oh, that's my light source. Oh, let me just quickly go grab that real quick and we'll just pull him back over here. Look, snuggle with that, Bob, for a second. Okay, that's my light source for this mission, I guess. Now, Bob, I know what you're going to say. Bob, we don't have a lot of time. Okay? Now, don't get me wrong, my surgery is very important, but it does appear the Covenant are attacking. <laughs> okay? John? Bob? Whatever your name is? Bob Halo? <laughs> the Covenant are attacking, okay? And although you were just a simple Marine on Earth, maybe even the best Marine I've ever seen, we might need to face the Covenant soon. That's, that, that's what that buzzer means, Bob is that something is attacking Earth and that we need all the men we can get. So that means I have to, in fact, do this surgery a little bit faster than I'm currently doing it. Now, does this increase the risk on your life? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, but trust me when I say this. Your health is the utmost important thing to me. I have appeared to have thrown away all of the instruments I need right now. Nope. I have not. Never mind. For you see, all I need is a knife. Because yet again, Bob, as I've told you many times before, I am British and therefore all I need is a knife to achieve anything at all, Bob. Okay? Anything. Now, shh, 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 shh. I know what you're going to say. You stabbed me. Correct. It's what doctors do, believe it or not. We stab everybody we meet. It's how we get business. Okay, so Bob, I have in fact removed your heart. Okay, now. Now, Bob, okay. 
once I had removed your old heart, the new heart is in fact oop, starting to beat, okay? Now I have no way of actually making this heart become alive, so I'm just going to have to wriggle it a little bit and hope that it'll do you well. Nope, stay in there. Stay in there. There we go. See? Perfect. And look, somebody even put balloons in here again so that you can get one of those balloons back in your body. Yes, that time I did actually mean to stab you. <laughs> but it's fine. 